Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Black Myth Wukong's been taking over the internet. It's a great game, I'm enjoying it. I've played almost 30 hours and I'm in chapter three. So if you're playing this game, let me know in the comments what chapter you're on and how many hours you've sunk in. I kind of feel like Wukong has overshadowed another game that's coming out on PC very soon in September. That's Final Fantasy 16. And there's actually a demo out on Steam right now. And I've installed it onto my Steam Deck Steam OS. I'm going to check it out today. Um, and I've also installed the DLSS Enabler mod, which boosts performance. So if you don't know what this mod is, it's a free mod. And it like adds FSR 3.1 to your game. But this game already has FSR 3. So why do you need to add a mod? Because the built-in one sucks. Okay, it's kind of like the same thing with Black Myth Wukong. I've installed the same mod with Black Myth Wukong and I'm playing the game on my Steam Deck at 60 FPS. So if you're interested in that, I'll link the video in the description for Black Myth Wukong as well. It's basically the same. Okay, so here's the demo and I'm just going to show you the default. So this is the starting area. Okay, and let me show you my settings. Okay, so just restore default settings this is the default so borderless 720p it's because i'm connected to a capture card for recording okay so if you're playing on handheld mode you should have 800p okay and vsync is currently on and then if i reset default settings for this the graphics it's low um super resolution at legacy so tc psc maa plus amd fsr1 dynamic resolution on sharpness at 10 frame rate 60 motion blur is on okay uh, graphic fidelity basically it's all at low okay and like it doesn't run too well with the default you know as expected with no frame generation nothing okay it's not the grass uh, it doesn't run 30 fps even in the starting area okay so this is the cutscene so I'm just gonna skip the cutscene Okay, so I'm going to be showing you the DLSS mod, you know, how it improves the game. If you like videos like this, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. We talk a lot about gaming handhelds, especially the Steam Deck, Lenovo Legion Go, Nintendo Switch. We talk a lot about mods, cheats, trainers, emulation, stuff like that. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. Okay, so you can see we're kind of struggling here in the first tutorial when you've only got one enemy. So you can imagine if we have multiple enemies, it's not going to run too well. Right, we're in the teens. Okay, and let's check out the built-in FSR 3. Okay, because a lot of people's got to message me in the comments saying, you know, it has built-in FSR 3. Why, why do you need another mod? Okay, it's just because the built-in one sucks. Okay, so super resolution, I'm going to use the built-in AMD FSR 3. I'm going to turn off dynamic resolution and I'm going to set the upscaling to performance. I find performance is the best for like in terms of graphics and um, fluid, fluidness. Um, because if you're playing like handheld mode, the, the screen's not too big. Um, so, okay, so let's turn on AMD FSR 3 frame generation, frame rate is capped at 60 fps okay motion blur is off okay that's cool i don't like motion blur and then graphic fidelity i'm gonna keep it at low so that's how we're going to compare okay so we do get performance boost like it feels a little bit smoother than before okay but still not great that's why i mean by like the built-in fsr3 it's not too good like it is better but not not the greatest okay so let me show you the mod okay so since i've got the mod on i can enable dlss3 as the option it's not really dlss it it like tricks the system thinking we have an nvidia card so we can toggle this on and then it translates it to fsr 3.1 okay so if you don't have the mod installed or if you installed it incorrectly you won't be able to select this it, it will be gone you don't have this option Okay, then dynamic resolution also off, and I'm going to set it to performance. Okay, um, DLSS frame generation on. Frame rate, I'm going to set it at 60 FPS as well. Okay, and then everything else is at low. Concentrate. All right, so now you can see it's way more fluid, right? No, like, no, it's not sluggish. 
And we're getting like 50-ish frames. Not quite 60. Not quite 60, but still. Pretty good. Big improvement. Yeah, it's great. If you like, like, it doesn't look too good on the big screen because you're watching on YouTube. I'm going through capture card. Like, it's actually 720p. All right. That's why it doesn't look too good. And I'm using upscaling uh, performance. So, you know, if you want to make it look a little bit better, you can go to quality or, or balance. Uh, but it does impact your um, performance. Like, you will lose a few frames. I kind of find the sweet spot in performance, like I said. Because if you're playing on handheld mode, like the small screen, um, there's not much difference between um, performance and balanced. Okay, and one of the main things people talk about when using frame generation is the input lag, input latency. Okay. So now we're in the tutorial where we're going to be using evade. So you need precision to get the like perfect dodge. Okay. So make sure if you have this mod on, press the three dot button. Okay, my camera's a little bit in the way. Okay, so you press the three dot button and make sure you don't have, um, you don't limit your frame rate. So I disabled frame limit. Okay, if you limit your frame rate to 30 FPS or 40 FPS, you will get big input lag. Okay, so if you have input lag, input latency, it, like it feels weird, disable frame limit. Okay, and also another tip, um, if you have UI flickering, On your toes, Lord Rossfield. if you have UI flickering, so I can't demonstrate that right now because um, I'm through a capture card and it's default 720p. When I tested it out on handheld mode, uh, if you have it on 800p, like you see the, the UI will start to flicker when you run around. Okay, if you have that, just go to your display and set it to like full screen and set it to 720p. I find that if it's on 800p, you'll have UI flickering. Okay, so I can set it to full screen right now, 720p, it's fine. Okay, let me show you the perfect dodge. So, you know, I don't have any input lag. So watch. See that? Precision. Oh, it's called precision dodge. So, like people say input lag. Nah, it's fine. See, I can do three in a row. So, not too bad. So, yeah, it's perfect. It's great. Um, let me show you how to install this. I'll take you back to my Steam Deck's desktop mode and I'll see you there. Okay, so welcome back to my Steam Deck's desktop mode. The first thing you need to do is you need to locate where your game is. Okay, so open up your Dolphin File Manager. Okay, go to Home. Make sure you click this hamburger button and then click Show Hidden Files. This is checked. Okay, because you're going into go inside a hidden folder called .steam and then Steam and then Steam Apps. If I can find it right here. And then Common. Okay, so inside here, you can see we've got the game folder Final Fantasy 16 demo. So this is where the game folder is. And like we're going to be pasting our um, mod files right here in the root of this folder. Okay. Now, second thing, you need to download the mod. So I'll link it in the description. We're going to go to the GitHub page. Okay, don't get the one from the um, Nexus page because the, that's not updated. Like that's like the full release. We're going to use a beta release. So go to this GitHub page, links in the description, and then go to here, latest releases. Okay, and like this is not the latest one. Okay, we want, because it's not sought by um, date. It's sought by the name. Oh, this is new one. This released 15 hours ago. Okay, let's try. I was going to use beta 11. That's what I used for Black Myth Wukong. But this new one, beta 12. So let's get this one. Beta 12. Go to assets. And then click download the exe file. Okay, it is an exe file. So if you're 
you know, concerned it might be a virus or anything like that. Do this at your own risk. Okay, it could be. But yeah, I'm okay. I'm fine with taking the risk. It's only my Steam Deck. There's nothing really important on it. It's just a gaming device for me. If you like do internet banking and you have all this personal stuff on it, like, yeah, you got to think about what stuff you download. So that's downloading. Taking its time. Now I'm going to go and open up my downloads folder. Okay, it's right here. Just finished downloading. Right click it. Add to Steam. Okay, it's adding to Steam. Okay, and if you open up your Steam, Steam library, you can see I've got the DLSS enabler. I okay, got beta 12. So the version is 3.01.001.0. Okay, click on its gear icon, properties, force it to Proton Experimental and run it. So it's going to be an installer program. Okay, I accept the agreement. Next, next. Okay, here we're going to define a folder to put the uh, mod files. But what I normally do is I just go to my downloads folder, right click create new. Okay, and then I'm just going to copy this name. So DLSS enabler setup. Just going to paste it here. Okay, so I just created a new folder. Blank. Okay, and let me just browse it. So browse, and then it's on my internal SSD. So Z drive, home, back, um, downloads. Okay, downloads here. And then DLSS enabler setup. This one, the beta 12 one. Next, so make sure the path is correct. Click next, and then I'm going to select the first one. So install as version DLL. Okay, if you have a lot of mods, I, I suggest using the ASI plugin one. So, um, but you know, this one works, version.dll works for me. Make sure you click this, enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs, okay? And that's it. Next, install. Okay, see it populating with those files. And then it tries to run the uh, .reg file, okay? It's an error. Uh, it works for Windows, but this Steam OS. So just click OK. We don't need to read the README, okay? And we're done. We're done okay so just copy all these files these mod files copy it and paste it over to your game folder the root i've already have it so i'm going to overwrite right into overwrite okay and then there's one more thing we need to do it's um not by name the files okay so this nvngx.dll, this 185.5 kilobyte file, this is the mod file, okay? We need to replace this with the original one, which is um, this one, nvngx underscore dlss.dll. This is the 51.2 megabyte file. So what I'd like to do is I just copy this name, okay? Copy it. I'm just going to delete this. So move to trash. Okay, and then here, this is the file that I want to copy over. So I'm just going to copy this and then paste it. And then because it's got the same name, I'm just going to rename it. So because I copied that name, so it's this one. So paste. So I'm going to rename it to nvngx.do, the one that I just deleted. So that overrided this file. And yeah, that's it. That's it for the mod files. Once all that is done, go to your Steam, open up the game, and then go to the gear icon, properties, and make sure you have this in the launch options. Wine DLL overrides equals version equals N comma B, and then percentage command percentage. Make sure there's a space here, okay, in between. Um, I'll, I'll like just put this in the description. You can copy and paste it in case you have some typos. And once you've done... You're done. So now let's test the game. Just going to run it on desktop mode. It works in gaming mode like I showed you before at the start of the video. This is desktop mode. Okay, so if we can see the DLSS, 
in the options, that means the mod is working. So config, graphics. All right, so you can see here DLSS 3. Okay, and select it. And then frame generation, I can toggle this on and off. All right, so yeah, the mod's working fine. So let me know in the comment section if you have any issues. If you don't have any issues, also let me know in the comments. Um, you know, write something nice and we can engage in a little conversation. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.